and the omnibus. So I was forced into the arches when I was a child. And look, it's come back to bite me later on. I'm awash with the stuff. The Archers is the world's longest running radio show, with more than 15,000 episodes broadcast. Despite being a rural flavour show, The Archers is recorded in the heart of the UK's second largest city, Birmingham. You're listening to Friday's episode of The Archers from BBC Radio 4. <laughs> Sorry, almost ready. Yes, come in. What's this all about? <laughs> the idea was to put this in your hand as soon as you walked in the front door. Oh, Lord. What is it? A freshly mixed daiquiri cocktail. Oh, wow, you look lovely. Thank you. Thought I'd make a bit of an effort. No, I'm, I mean, you always look so gorgeous. <laughs> so do you, Sergeant Baron. Oh, me. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, God, that's a bit strong, love. <laughs> You're trying to get me drunk. So what if I am? Mm. Mm. <laughs> so what's this all in aid of? After the week you've had, don't you think you deserve some pampering? A bit of TLC? So do you. Oh, well, I know. That's why this is our weekend. Just the two of us. Oh, sounds good to me. I've planned a special dinner. A nice bottle of wine. Oh, fancy. I've even chosen a movie. Although, I suspect we might just feel like having an early night. I think that's a strong possibility. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, well, I, uh, I better go and slip into something more comfortable. I'll put some music on. Then I'll start cooking. Beautiful. Back in a tick. Yeah. Oh, typical. Get rid of them, will you, Harrison? Yeah, leave it to me. Delicious. Who was it? Well, it's um. It's, uh, it's, it's Robert. Sorry? Good evening, Fallon. I, I just thought I'd pop in to update Harrison on my efforts to increase community vigilance. <laughs> no. I did suggest another time. I just think it's all rather urgent. Don't you? Well, why don't you give me the gist of it, Robert? right -o. Um, as long as I'm not interrupting anything. Uh, not at all. <laughs> well, why would you be? Alice. How are you? How are you? Fine. Oh, it's good to see you. Yeah, I um, I just wanted to drop off some support material I've collected. Oh? Uh, leaflets, flyers, a few articles I kept hold of. Oh, that's really kind of you. Yeah, here. You might find some of it useful. Thank you. Well. You coming in? Uh, no, I'm not stopping. Uh, well, maybe we could sit and look at this stuff together. You, you could point out what you found most helpful. Uh, ten minutes. Great. Hey up, George. Hi, Grandpa. Uh, Edward reckons he's been having trouble with the shedding gate. Uh, why don't you give us a hand with it? Nah, you're all right. Come on. You're not still mooning about Tilly Button, are you? It should have been me and her going to Grey Gables, not Chris and well, whoever he ends up asking. Well, keep your chin up. Here. What about your Bartleby videos? Oh, well, that's been going well, ain't it? Sort of. Oh, well, let's have a look at your latest one, then. It ain't much different to the last stuff I posted. Oh, come on, George. What? I can't just keep churning out videos of a veteran pony standing in a field. But if I'm getting bored of it, imagine how my followers must be feeling. You, you need to jazz it up a bit. How, though? Um, all right, here's an idea. Go on. I don't suppose you've heard of animal magic? What's that? Oh, something used to be on the telly ages ago. This fella, Johnny Morris, would give funny voices to zoo animals, like, um, like, like a penguin talking with its teeth chattering. Hysterical it was. There's already stuff like that online. 
I don't embarrass myself trying to put on a stupid voice. I'll do it then. You? Yeah. I can do loads of accents, me. Uh, Scottish. Ah, ha. Hello there. I'm a Scottish. <laughs> don't let Jazz hear you do that. All right. American. Well, howdy there, partner. Okay, okay. French? Bonjour, Monsieur Georges. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> of course, I need time to perfect a voice for Bartleby. Um, this is an article I found really inspiring. Oh, amazing. It's a very, very frank account of someone's recovery, first-hand. I must have read it a dozen times. Thank you. I'll check it out. Of course, a, a major help is when you're assigned a buddy or sponsor. <sighs> that sounds good. I wish I had a buddy right now. Well, don't forget, there's a, a free national helpline. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I'd rather talk to someone face-to-face, -face, like this. Well, that's what the meetings are for. They intimidate me, Alice. You'll be fine. If I ever manage to get myself there. What about the promise you made to Dr Malik? I don't know. You said you'd have the liver test and, and start attending meetings. Yeah, but I'm not sure I've got the strength, Alice. Or the willpower. I'm not sure I can do any of this on my own. Oh, but you won't be on your own. There's a lot of help out there. I know I said my family were supporting me, but the truth is they've all given up. They can't do it any longer, Alice. Uh, uh, I, I know. You do? I went to see your mum. When? Yesterday. Was Dad there? No, it was just me and her. I'm sorry if that feels like an intrusion. No? I just wanted to talk to her. <laughs> Actually, I'm quite touched. I'm sure it wasn't much use, though. She's pretty adamant about keeping her distance. Right. I had a feeling she really was done with me this time. I'm sorry. Why? Maybe giving up is the right decision. For her, maybe. For everyone. Me included. Don't, Harry. Well, I'm clearly hopeless, Alice. Maybe I should just keep drinking and let my liver fail. I think we should be far more aware of what's happening in our own neighbourhoods. Good idea. If only. Yes, the problem is we don't employ our powers of observation. I couldn't agree more, Robert. Yes, people ignore telltale signs, Harrison. <laughs> you can say that again. Because they fail to pick up on body language. <sighs> you don't have to tell us. No. <laughs> anyway, after what happened to poor Kenton, I'm determined to do my best to make the village more sensitive to all those things. Thank goodness for people like you, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> oh, goodness, look at the time. Um, I should be heading off. Oh. R really? So soon? Um, actually, it happens to be my birthday today. Oh, Robert. Oh, happy birthday, my mate. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, the only reason I'm out is because Linda's preparing me a special meal and asked me to make myself scarce. I see. Oh. Could have stayed at home, but then I thought, why don't I come and give you an update on everything? Well, I'm glad you did. Yeah. Anyway, I was told to be home for dinner at six o'clock, so... Oh, and home. you don't want to be late for that? Absolutely <laughs> not. Uh, oh, was that me? Oh, it's Linda. Is everything all right? Uh, not really. She's she's having a stroganoff crisis and doesn't want to see me for another hour. Oh. An hour? I mean, uh, w what are you going to do? Uh, well, I, I don't want to spoil your evening. Harrison? No call. Oh, why don't you stay for a daiquiri cocktail? Oh, are you sure? <laughs> It is your birthday, after all. Yeah. Well, thank you. I'd love a cocktail. <laughs> hey, I warn you, Robert, lad, it'll knock your socks off. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I'm really intrigued. <laughs> Come in, George. Have a seat. Where's Grandma? Oh, your Nana wanted her to do some video testimonial thing down the village shop before they shut. Any road, I think she's had enough of me trying out my Bartleby voices. <laughs> is that what you want to show me? Prepare to be dazzled, George. I'm not sure this is going to work, Grandpa. Oh, how can you say that when you ain't heard it? You've settled on one, then. The perfect voice for a geriatric pony like Bartleby. All right, go on. <coughs> oh, good afternoon, viewers. I'm Bartleby Grundy, and welcome to The View From My Paddock. 
<laughs> you what? The view from my paddock. <laughs> you sound a bit like Oliver. <laughs> Anyway, you haven't had the full effect yet. Get one of your Bartleby videos up on your phone. OK. Sound off. Ready? And play. Hello again. I'm Bartleby Grundy. And what, you might ask, is the view from my paddock this evening? Well, a certain cravat-sporting farmer has been spotted stepping out with a new lady on his arm. One had assumed he was well past it, but it seems there might be life in the old dog yet. <laughs> what, you mean Brian Aldridge? I can neither confirm <laughs> nor deny. <laughs> this is actually pretty funny, Grandpa. <laughs> See? I told you it would work. <laughs> this is absolutely not the time to give up, Harry. I have tried so many times to stop. But none of this is easy and we've all had setbacks. I certainly have. I'm not as strong as you, Alice. L listen to me. Every day is a test. For you too. Yeah, of course. But you gather strength from all sorts of places. You might not feel it now, but you will feel stronger. Yeah, that's hard to imagine. I know, I know. But you're only at the start of the journey. Pretty soon you, you'll have the support and the confidence to manage your, your, um, manage your addiction. And you really believe that? I have a genuine faith that you can get yourself better, Harry. Thank you, Alice. I'm just trying to help you to see that you're not alone. Yeah, thanks to you. Well, others will tell you the same thing. And pretty soon you'll know it, you'll feel it. You've already made a massive difference. Good. You know, I've tried talking to a lot of people before, GPs, counsellors, but no one's ever been half as convincing as you are. People are out there, Harry. People who can help. You're helping, Alice. And you're already here. Well, I, I really should be going. Yeah, though, just I... a moment. Won't you be my mentor, Alice? Me? Why not? Are you serious? I know it's asking a lot. I can't, Harry. Just until I get an official sponsor to, to, to bridge the gap. Otherwise, I won't have anyone. No, don't, Harry. I'm not trying to make you feel guilty, Alice. I just, I just know that you can help me. We can help each other, you know? I, I have enough support. But I don't. You heard my mother's decision. My, my, my whole family, none of them are interested. I have burnt those bridges. I know. I just feel I... so lucky that I haven't messed things up with you. Harry. You're still here. You still want to be my friend. Please, Alice, please support me a bit longer. OK. As a friend. Only until you've got someone else. That would be incredible. OK. So you'll help me. Yes. Thank you. You won't regret it. So what do you do? I, I do the spot effects on the arches. I just uh, any. Are you what we call foley then? Uh, kind of, yep. First. Okay, and and these are these are all part of the uh, paraphernalia of production. Uh, yep, that's uh, the ball bar. That's this one. Yep, that's. I mean, Haley so wanted to be in their own place when their baby came. It's uh, due in two months. Uh, not much chance of that now. No. I mean, it would have been a stretch for him financially, mind, but oh, I just wish there was something practical I could do to help him, Caroline. I mean, I think the Archers had a... has had this immense popularity over the years, um, basically because it has always very accurately reflected the reality of life and living in a rural community at whatever.